when i was a researcher i struggled a lot to find a best journal for my article so whenever i wished to publish an article whenever i start writing an article i started feeling and worrying about how to find the best journal for my article whether it will be in the scopus until i complete my my um, phd thesis phd viva so all almost many questions will arise in my mind so this is a video where you will get rid of all of these things that is in this video we will see three important journal suggested for your journals that is your articles so this is the very first uh, journal suggested which is provided to us by springer so we all know that springer is an excellent publisher so many of the journals of uh, springer will be indexed in scopus and also indexed in sci so it's very simple you don't want to go and check uh, that is you don't want to go and find something in the database go to the like uh, um, visiting sci scopus database or web of science database to to find the best journal for you instead you can use this journal suggested.springer.com to find a best journal for your article yes so what you can do is here you have two options one is you have to use a manuscript title and the second one is what the manuscript text and the third is what you have to select the subject area so i am going to give this is the some uh, this is the already published paper okay so you will be using your uh, paper which is yet to publish so i am just going to show you as an example so i am just using the already published paper this is the heading and i am just going to paste the abstract here so once if you paste the abstract here you have to select which subject area you are looking for you can find almost every journal here every subject area here like business management computer science uh, economics earth science education energy so whatever you want you can simply select it so this since my um, research was about uh, computer science as well as healthcare so i can either choose a computer science or else i can even choose if there is any health science or healthcare medicine and public health i can choose that as of now i am just going to go ahead with the computer science and if you just click suggest journal what will happen is see it is suggesting you many journals here okay so you can also see what is the that is the mean time it will take to reply you back here you can see 99 days after first suggestion 33 days 22 days so here you can see everything very clearly and if you just scroll down you can see what is the acceptance rate 22 percentage is the acceptance rate here and 48 days for the suggestion that is 48 days for the average decision and here you can see it is 6 19 days what you can do is once if you find that uh, you have this um, journal and if you really feel like you can you can submit your article in this any particular journal if you feel like okay i'm going to uh, find this journal submit in this journal just copy the journal name paste it in the scopus or web of science and find whether this journal is indexed in scopus or sci or as you can simply click here to know more about the journal here you can see it is indexed in sci science citation index expanded and also you can see if it is in scopus they will also mention here yes it is in scopus you can also see here what is the publication charge everything they have clearly mentioned okay and uh, if you wanted to just to try go ahead with uh, uh, the different like if you have two uh, domains in your mind okay so you can select another domain so i am going to go with medicine and public health and if i click suggest a journal it will also suggest a journal based on the public health so it is showing clinical rheumatology so it's only 15 days for the first decision and here you can see the acceptance rate okay so you can simply select anything okay so that you can know more about it where it is indexed so all these things data everything will be available here so if you have any research um, uh, funds you can directly go ahead and submit it uh, submit it in order to get the uh, ex like uh, to get the fast acceptance okay so the second one is what which is uh, provided to us by the taylor and francis of course you all might have heard about the taylor and francis publication so they have wide variety of journals in order to publish so 
so i'm going to just paste the abstract here so the simple thing is you have to paste the abstract okay and reveal suggested journals once if you click reveal suggested journals so it is revealing you what are the journals which you have what is the metrics so it is showing the impact factor submission after first decision which is not applicable or not available so here you can see for this it is 61 days so you can simply click here the metrics okay to know more about see it's a speed acceptance rate and uh, one days and only four percent is accepted you, you can click here to know more about it okay so if you wanted to know more about it you can click here click to learn more and submit so you can know more about that particular journal and you can submit your journal submit your article here so please read the instruction as i told though you see that here it is showing like indexed in scopus or indexed in web of science please go and visit your scopus database or web of science database and cross check whether it is still there in the database because you know it is not mandatory that um, sometimes they might have uh, deleted the particular journal from that particular database so please don't take any risk just go ahead and publish it okay just go ahead and search it before you publish because that is important okay so uh, here you can see that what are the instructions to the authors which is given uh, here so simply just go ahead and see what is the publication charges for this so you can check whether it is uh, what is the uh, processing charge article processing charge okay and all the information other than like how what is the plagiarism policy they are just following everything you have to cross check here you can see only the um, uh, that is a metrics like how many what is the site score what is the uh, what is the uh, number of days they are taking and for few uh, journals you cannot even see like how many days they will take okay so just go ahead and check cross check and the third one which i wanted to tell you is what elsewhere elsewhere is also giving you an opportunity to find the journal without going and searching in any other database or any other specifically going and searching for the website so the scope and everything you can find it even here so here even here you have to paste the um, abstract and also the title here okay simply just copy and paste it and if you click on find journal it will give you the journal suggestion so it is showing nearly yes so it is showing uh, the journal for you so here you can see if you don't want the open access journals to be displayed so here you can simply um, switch it off okay and if you want the journals without subscription you can even just switch it off to see how it is so you can see here like here they have showed like no publication charges okay so this is the first journal material science today and no publication charges but for the open access you have to pay this what is the site score what is the impact factor what is the acceptance rate and how many days they are taking for to send you the first decision here they are taking nearly seven 17 weeks okay just scroll down to see more 14 weeks you can see here okay so they are taking 14 weeks and here they, they are taking seven weeks five weeks one week okay if you are okay with this five weeks or one week or whatever so you can simply go ahead and um, know more about that particular journal just click on the summit uh, paper you can see that what is all about the journal and they will show you what is the scope of the journal and uh, what are the other uh, important factors that every author should see before submitting the journal so of course you have to just create a login for this and you have to create a sign up here to submit your journal and you can check the about the journal to know more about it so be ready like um if you wanted to publish your paper so you should know what is the scope what is the plagiarism policy whether your paper is under the scope of any particular journal and how how long they are taking to respond you back and you should also know you should also properly format the template that is you have to use the correct template to submit 
your journal all these factors includes so i hope this three uh, journal suggester is re- will really help you in finding the best journal for your article <clears throat> all the best do your uh, research in very efficient and effective way take care bye bye